Hi, um, today we're going to use our flash drive. Again, remember that there are other names for our flash drives. They can be called a USB drive, a jump drive, a thumb drive, a finger drive, a jump stick, and I'm sure that there are other words that you will hear these called, but for today we're going to call it a USB drive, and you need to stick it with the Kirkwood side, um, Kirkwood side up into the USB port on the side of your computer. And let me share my screen with you. <clears throat> so now you should see my desktop. And we are going to go to Microsoft Word. Um, let me get the little annotation thing. So we're going to open Microsoft Word. We're going to double click. And now it's thinking. Okay. And instead of opening a blank document today, we are going to open a document from the open other documents. Okay, we're going to click on browse and then you need to scroll down on the left to the USB drive and I would like you to open your um, 1.30.18 sentence and you should have this sentence, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dogs. Okay. So remember Let's go through and open the document again. I'm going to go ahead and close it with the, the X. Okay. So remember, we're on our desktop. We need to go to Microsoft Word. Double click. Okay. We're going to click on open other documents, click on browse, scroll down on the left, go to USB drive, parenthesis E colon parenthesis, and then choose a document to open and we should all have the 1.30.18 sentence and we're going to open it. Okay. Um, now I want you to type this sentence two more times. The quick brown foxes jump over the lazy dogs. The quick brown foxes jumped over the lazy dogs. And remember that this sentence has every single letter in the US alphabet. Now we're going to go up to file and save. Then we're going to close this. Now, remember they, they didn't show anything, but you did save it. Okay, 
So we're clicking the red X. We're now back to our desktop. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to open your Gmail. <clears throat> open your Gmail. So Okay, and remember that we have to sign out and choose a different account. So, and remember this two step verification is something that you can turn on for Google, um, but you don't have to. Okay. All right. So when we talked about email before we had our winter break, we talked about how to add an attachment. So we are going to go to Compose. And I'm going to send it to my Kirkwood email. Okay. And I'm going to title this sentence for my subject. Okay. I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. And remember that when I want to attach a file, I come down to the paper clip. So I click on the paper clip, and I need to check and make sure that up here it says USB drive E. I'm going to click on the words 13018 dash sentence and then click on open. Remember when we watched the email with Jennifer, we said we should always start with a greeting. So we'll say hi, and then we'll include a short message. Attached, you will find my sentences. And then um, you want to sign your name, and then go ahead and hit send. So again, we want to find to we want to be able to compose an email so <clears throat> let's go back through all the steps again to compose an email first you click on chrome then in the address bar you type Gmail. Then you click on Compose. Okay, send me an email. And let's make your subject um, Microsoft. Word. Make this bigger so you can see it. Hi, class. Please tell me what you like the best about using the computer and then we can send it and again we've sent many emails so you should be able to send without any problem so i will see you in class tomorrow